www.dcblitz.com Hi, you're watching Matt Dunkley on DesiBlitz.com Yo, this is Shin from DCS and you're watching me on DesiBlitz.com Hi, this is Noreen Khan and for the latest news, gossip and gup shop, check out DesiBlitz.com now you're presenting the CBSO tribute to A.R. Rahman. Can you tell us what we can expect? Um, what's the show going to be about? It's going to be a real spectacular evening, evening actually on the 4th of September at Birmingham Symphony Hall because you've got Matt Dunkley who's the conductor. Now Matt's not only conductor, he's actually worked with A.R. Rahman for the past 10 years. So, you know, they've toured India together, they've got a very close working relationship and friendship as well. It's a programme that we've done in a few parts of the world. We, we did a, a concert at the Hollywood Bowl uh, a couple of years ago, and we've done it in London. Uh, we toured India last year with it, and um, it's something that's very dear to AR's heart. He loves working with orchestra, he loves the textures and the sounds of an orchestra. And um, my job is I'm an orchestrator, so I literally convert what his ideas are into orchestral language, if you like. We, we've taken these concerts around the world, really, and uh, we feel like we're really ready to, to bring it back to Birmingham. So um, and I, AR's got a lot of um, time and uh, love for this city and, and this orchestra as well. Well, I know I'm singing Jai Ho, uh, and I I know I'm singing Chenya Chenya. Ayo's such a unique composer within, probably not just the Bollywood film industry, uh, in the whole in the whole of the world really. You put him anywhere, I think Ayo Rahman would succeed uh, with music. You know, he's just is that he's such um, a, a creative person. You know, and his music is always very original. You know, and very inspiring. I got a call out of the blue 10 years ago. He said he needed to do some recording sessions for a film called The Legend of Bhagat Singh. We recorded at um, Abbey Road Studios, Studio 2, where the Beatles recorded, which he thought was very cool. <laughs> and then, basically, he's kept calling ever since. We, we, we've developed a friendship and a, and a really kind of deep musical connection. I like to think I know how to orchestrate his music in the way he likes it. And uh, yeah, we, we've kind of continued this journey, really. your debut on the runway and hosted for DesiBlitz.com a few years back. I did, yes. How has your life changed since then? Uh, well, I'd never, you know, appeared on a catwalk before, so that was really good fun, actually. Got to sort of model some really nice outfits, got to work with um, Desi Blitz, so that was great, yeah. Shen, you're considered as one of the UK's uh, best bang Bangra singers. Um, who would you say, apart from A.R. Rahman, is one of your biggest musical inspirations? Uh, they're all dead. <laughs> they're all dead from the uh, Bollywood film industry. You know, I used to love people like Adi Berman, uh, Lakshmi Kant, Pyarelal, Pyarelal is still alive, mind you. Shankar Jai Kishan, you know, Madan Mohan, you, Ravi, you name these. The mega Bollywood, uh, you know, music directors of the past, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, which were the golden era of Bollywood film music. Anybody from that era, you know, I'm a fan of. And you know, uh, AR Rahman, you know, I, I really got to hear him in the early 90s uh, with films like Rosa, with films like Bombay. And I became a great fan of his, you know, and I've followed his work ever since. Do you think it's more uh, difficult, would you say, to compose Bollywood music rather than, say, Hollywood music? I don't know. I mean, I work. You know, I'm very lucky to work on a lot of big Hollywood movies. I've, you know, I've worked on everything from Black Swan to Moulin Rouge to Inception um, to Great Gatsby and World War Z this year. Uh, but to me, it's all good music. 
if it's good music and the composer understands what he wants to do and how it relates to the picture and the movie, then uh, that that's effective. He writes beautifully for picture, but he's, he has one of those unique talents that not only does the music serve the movie, but it's also beautiful to listen to as well. And that's why I think this concert will work so well in the concert hall, because you take his music away from the picture and it still stands up as beautiful music that is, is so uh, wonderful to listen to. What can fans expect from the tribute? You're going to get something very different actually, as well as you know, some of the big hits from Slumdog Millionaire and Bombay and you know, some of the Bollywood hits. You know, that, that's not just what Air Roman is about, obviously he's you know, scored lots of Hollywood movies as well. And I think Matt bringing his expertise along, having scored lots of Hollywood films as well, um, working with Aeroman, I think that combination is going to be quite unique. So you might recognise some of the music and some of the Bollywood tracks, but then you'll hear other pieces which you might not be so familiar with, but I think that teams up with the amazing CBSO. Um, it, it's, it's definitely going to be unique, and I think it's going to take the audience on a real journey. Um, and I think if you, if you love your music, and you know you want to experience something different it's a night for you